Hi Carrie. I thought that a video uh, would be the most helpful to uh, to guide you through uh, adding uh, a product to the open cart on the website. Uh, if you went to the link uh, that I sent you in the email, you'll end up here, your open cart administration area. Type in the username and the password that I gave you and you click log in. This is basically your um, your uh, dashboard, right? Uh, here you'll see uh, your total sales. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. Number of customers. I'm the only customer in the database. Haven't bought anything yet, but I'm sure I eventually will, since I am a dog uh, lover and have a dog. Uh, it's not a boxer, but. Uh, nonetheless anyway uh, okay so here basically is everything that can be done with uh, open cart uh, you will not need really to mess with uh, anything in system for example uh, I don't even want to click into it there's no need for you to go in there just so you can see uh, here you have um, the design of the banners these are the two uh, the front page the big one this is where I manage and uh, name uh, set up links and images for that slider um, here I can here's where I'll manage that from for the big one uh, and the side one the same way uh, with individual links etc so, but you don't have to click in there for anything really. Um, I'll, being that I'm doing the maintenance, I'll worry about backing up the system, um, you know, once once a week, uh, etc. You know, it's really not necessary for you to be in here. You can really easily uh, mess things up as far as the way the site functions and looks. Um, here is your sales screen. Um, this is where basically you'll be able to see. Right now, there's no results. Uh, here is where you'll be able to see any orders when they come in. Uh, uh, any customers, everything relating to your customers is here. Your customers, see, here I go. Okay. Uh, so, in any case, you want to be here, your catalog. Uh, there are two main properties to your catalog, which is basically your inventory, which are the categories and the products. There's other stuff here which I don't think you'll be uh, messing with or need unless you want to start sorting uh, and adding manufacturers for particular products. I don't think uh, that's something, for my opinion, more like um, uh, for electronics. You know, you have uh, Apple, Sony. Uh, Microsoft you know here I don't think you really at least not at this point yet you don't want to necessarily deal with that but that's where you would do that in any case here are your categories this is all your existing categories uh, here where you see the uh, little carrot there uh, that is a subcategory that uh, of the main category you see it here, home and garden, everything in the home and garden, toys, everything in the toys, beds, etc. etc. All the different sub items. Okay, now, if you want to ch add a category, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, or rather, if you want to edit, you edit the category. Gifts and goodies. And here's everything related to gifts and goodies. You've done this before, you see how it is. Um, you know the the uh, all the design tools here pretty straightforward and you can you know you can add the nice uh, description there this is your meta tag description here you definitely want to make sure you put keywords here uh, for Swarovski uh, crystal Swarovski uh, ornament Swarovski crystal ornament uh, boxer ornament you want to make sure you put that in there because 
that is very important for getting uh, for uh, ranking on the Google search results. Um, here, this is another one, very important, SEO, search engine optimization keyword. You want to make sure you have uh, your keyword here. This was Swarovski, uh, uh, Swarovski crystal ornament. This is what you want to put here, okay? Uh, uh, this is top menu bar. That is what you would see. Um, here for example where by the way you click that from here storefront while you're here and it open up a new window with your storefront this is what's considered the top level menus and these are the secondary menus so the ones below it obviously primary is the top here's below it when it says here display in top menu bar this is what you want to show there so this cat this particular category gifts and goodies is the main category and you want to show it on your gifts and goodies uh, by the way I'm flipping through uh, the two tabs in one browser window but I just have you know uh, you don't see the tabs where I'm flipping but uh, in any case okay so um, here you go this is uh, Th that's pretty much it uh, you don't have to mess with this at all this would be if you want to uh, change the layout of the particular page for that particular category which you do not want to do uh, I think it's important to keep it all uniform and clean and the point is to sell so you don't want to confuse people with your layout and design um, okay so that's it so that's basically the category so I click cancel here just to get out I don't want to make any changes uh, that'll be up to you to modify or insert a new category just the same way except this is all blank you put your category name here test category uh, your meta tag uh, description this is this is my description okay meta tag keywords here's where you would put a few a handful five six seven ten tops keywords for this category test category best best test category uh, beautiful whatever you think uh, whatever you think somebody would type in to um, to find this particular product okay the description again is where you make the nice description uh, your data pretty simple now here's where you would say okay this is the main category or you know what there's gonna be a subcategory of gifts and goodies memorials home and garden uh, toys beds etc or any other category you may have put in there very important here test category you want to put this stuff in there carry it's very important uh, for the SEO okay um, so uh, here you put any image that you want to associate to the category okay um, if you want to upload a new image right here you upload it and you go look for the image uh, wherever you may want to you know wherever you have your image in your folders you know um, uh, this is kind of what I would kind of recommend uh, see I have my banners I set up a folder here for banners um, this is where I'm gonna be storing banners uh, logos I store the logos uh, this is the demo stuff that came with it we don't even need this anymore uh, this doesn't matter but I would say maybe just uh, keep it all you seem to have it all in the root directory all your images that's you know all up to you right okay X out of here that's where I put in my image display the top menu bar again if you want it to be in the top or not uh, if it's a main category yes if it's not no um, okay so uh, sort order um, this is where you would say okay give it a priority uh, I would just leave it all and let the machine handle it, uh, leave it all just that one, that's fine.
Uh, okay, so uh, and design again. Do not touch, please, because uh, you know it's not necessary. Anyway, here we go. Save it, and boom, you'd have a test category. Now, uh, catalog products. <coughs> Excuse me. Still a little uh, hurt here, but uh, products. Here are all your products, Gary. Very uh, straightforward again. Um, you have here 175 products existing. Obviously, uh, you want to mess with an existing product. Just click on that edit. Any changes you do to it, these are all the different uh, options or attributes for any one particular product. Um, here, before, let me, you know what, let me go into the second one because I fixed that one. Uh, for example, the three rows of Roski, let's see. See here, you don't even have any meta tag or description. Very, very important. You want to have this carry. It's superbly important. Uh, product tags here, this would basically be similar to the meta tag keywords, okay? Uh, and here, make sure you put the commas in. You see on the, uh, on the first one that I had here, when I went into dog beds, you didn't have any commas here. You want to com comma eliminate. And uh, although it doesn't say it there, here it actually says a comma separated. So this basically, you could take that and, and put the same thing here, uh, and you'd be good to go. Uh, it all helps for the, uh, the, the search engine optimization. Uh, let me see something here. Data. Uh, okay, you don't. SEO keyword again here. Okay, dog bed. Simple one. Simple keyword main. Do not use spaces instead. Replace spaces with hyphens and make sure the keyword is globally unique. So that way, this is the one place for the dog bed. Boom. Uh, and that will help Google uh, your Google ranking in the search engine SEO S search engine optimization okay let me save that in any case uh, okay so you may want to go through here uh, let's see a door feeder edit see no description no keywords you want to go through here and hook these up very very important um, because if, if you don't do that uh, you are not uh, helping yourself you're, you're kind of working you're not you, you're not doing a very basic thing to help improve your search engine ranking and let me see if uh, SEO keyword again empty gotta have it in there gotta must 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 have it in there um, so go through your products uh, you're gonna have to wor work on that um, secondly uh, if you want to insert pretty much insert type in your product name your description, your keywords, this nice description, uh, the tags, basically a copy of the keywords, um, data here, give it a unique model number, you don't need to mess with SKU, UPC, EAN, JN, ISBN, NPN, uh, unless you want to, uh, your price, uh, taxable or non-taxable, uh, how many you have, how many minimum order, if you wanted to manage your stock, I'd say yes. Uh, does it require shipping or not? Again, SEO keywords, superbly important. Uh, a thumbnail for the, ima for the uh, image for the uh, product. Okay, when it's available, you can say, okay, it's coming up November 30th, so it'd be like a coming soon. And it'll show in your product inventory when somebody searches but it'll say not available to the 30th it'll manage that this is for shipping details uh, the weight you know etc short order again don't worry about that just leave it at one um, links again no unless you want to start sorting by manufacturer you do not have to click into that here is where you would put it in a particular category whatever your item is you don't need to mess with that the stores you don't need to mess with downloads this is very cool and very important this you want to have for example uh, a related product this is related to a door feeders 
Uh, for example, let's see what's in the B. This is related to bad dog apparel. Uh, it's also related to uh, uh, Mark T Tetro Prince. Whatever the case is, this is like a, a way to cross sell your products. Every product you want to have a related product to it. Uh, that way, the whole goal is to upsell and obviously sell as much product as possible. Uh, I'll delete these but that's basically how you would go in there and it auto completes which is pretty cool so if you're thinking whatever T the Bavarian black leather there goes some of that stuff uh, and you again you just click on it and it adds it into you can add as many and it'll show at the bottom of the product listing so I'm just gonna delete these for now because I'll leave that to you uh, and then I, I, I oops outside of that uh, really you don't have here if you'd want to add a discount this is if you add a special okay I'm gonna flick to the other screen because I have it open uh, the main screen see here special offer there's nothing there right now okay so for example I want to add a special I'm gonna just to show okay priority one price just uh, whatever it starts today ends tomorrow and I'm gonna save it okay now theoretically speaking why don't you please check form carefully for errors oh uh, sorry uh, let me go to an existing product okay so I go here product I'm gonna go to dog beds that was that that gave me an error because that was the blank product there was no information there I wanna add a special on dog beds today see this special finished I'm gonna extend this special through the end of November for example I had put this in there before. I said, okay, $78. It normally costs $79. We're going to give them a dollar off. This was just me testing. But uh, I click back on special here. Okay, now I, it's there. I save it. No errors. You have modified the product. Now I'm going to go back to my storefront. Okay. And. Boom, there goes my special for my dog bed. How cool is that, all right? Now, I had done five items. You can have up to five. I recommend you definitely always have something in here. Very cool, very important. Uh, it's, it's products you want to move. There's new products. That's also an option. It'll As you add stuff, it'll, it'll fill that up. Featured products, again, that's something else. Uh, this one was the one I did the review on here. Uh, it's a very, very cool product. Uh, engine uh, it just needs to be managed and as you can see here now as I flip back into the open car admin <coughs> excuse me sorry uh, the special is there so uh, I think that's pretty good for now Carrie uh, I hope this helps you if you got any questions just shoot me an email make sure you always log out and uh, I hope you have fun with the carry. Thanks. Bye.